my my uh, my other question is uh, something to do with with your uh, remarks that we have to reach that stage wherein uh, financial literacy among our kababayans would have to be at par with other developing countries, considering that most Filipinos own uh, cell phones, mobile cell phones, uh, wherein they can connect with GCash, uh, Paymaya. So don't you think that this would be contrary to the result of that study? Okay lang tayo, meron naman tayong pesonet. Okay lang tayo, hindi tayo sasali muna sa CBDC. Okay lang tayo, but we all we also aspire at the same time to reach that high level of financial literacy uh, para sa ating mga kababayan. Ang uh, impetus po ng uh, central bank digital currency is because of the proliferation of yung tinatawag na digital currency po na hindi back up ng central bank. Uh, dangerous po noon. Kaya nagkaroon na ngayong kaaral ng mga central bankers na sila mismo mag issue ng digital currency. Referring to Bitcoin. Yes, yes. Yes. But these are gaining grounds. Are they permit to Union Bank? I don't think so. In fact, marami pong nag-collapse na ng mga digital currency na unbanked by central banks. What about the permit given to the Union Bank of the Philippines? Uh, for them to engage in uh, digital me, transactions. Experimental pa rin po yan. That's not pervasively used by citizens, for example. So your, your, uh, your refrain is that uh, we should approach uh, digital currency with extreme caution. Yes, sir. Kaya yun naman yung lagi po yung sinasabi namin eh. Huwag kayong maglalaro dyan kasi you'll get burned. Kasi unless you have money to burn, huwag kayong maglalaro dyan. Kasi napaki-speculative po nyo yun eh. Okay, it's a different financial sphere, Mr. Chairman. But for the record, I've been studying this. I have a ledger of my own, which I don't understand how to operate. It's a ledger. As big as a bigger than a a USB, but apparently, tinago ko lang, Mr. Chairman. Di ko naman nagagamit. So can I pursue again the previous topic which I raised, the paynet, etc., etc. Mr. Secretary, are you aware that while you claim that that CBDC study was concluded? And the result would be not in favor of uh, pursuing it to the fullest extent, like what, what other countries are doing, that two countries just recently launched its CD, CBDC, the Central Bank of Bahamas, oh, yes. uh, the, the Bank of Jamaica, Jamaica, 2022, and 13 countries are in the pilot stage, like China, France, Canada, United Arab Emirates, etc., etc. And... From from our exchanges a while ago, it, it would appear that it was brushed off because of the results that came out. Uh, we go on, we pay, pass on that, et cetera, et cetera. But, but there is such a good concept coming from the platform that I have been saying, the blockchain, the peer-to-peer -peer platform, anonymous, and then validated by by other members, which which can result in government efficiency, uh, which can result in what they call now smart contracts, Your Honor. So by brushing this off, are we now saying that uh, the blockchain technology won't work, is not applicable, while uh, even our voting machine technology is really based on this platform? So hindi kaya merong... Meron tayong inconsistency rito. So, my suggestion, uh, Mr. Secretary, is that you have an open mind. These are evolving, emerging technologies that would probably... Uh, Secretary is no longer the governor of the BSP, Your Honor. So, no, no, I think no. your, your concerns is more properly addressed. No, no, but Your Honor, I, I think uh, I, I agree with you. Before, before you proceed, there's yeah. such a thing as Govreg. Greg. Govreg, uh, you regulate. These are all. This is this is a whole of government approach, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, so what I'm saying is perhaps the, the 
the brushing aside of that uh, concept can lead to other negative effects, uh, which probably would affect the entire government operations. We can have a, a good... Can I just clarify your concern, Your Honor? You're proceeding from your questions earlier, and uh, your questions earlier pertain to the regulation of digital currencies, am I correct? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. It, it, has, it has something to do with emerging technologies right now. Yeah. Pursuing. So, so could you specify particularly? I think because uh, the the secretary is big on uh, well as a governor and uh, also as secretary is big on digital transformation. But what precisely are you referring to? What technologies? Because there's a broad range of technologies. Blockchain. Okay. The blockchain that can be uh, of big help to the government. Okay. But there's no question, Your Honor, uh, that the blockchain technology is superior. This, this, it's it's the concept of the uh, CBDC. Okay, that's that's uh, we're being careful with. Uh, what is CBDC? It's a, it's a central bank issued digital currency. Okay, okay. The, and 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 how is that? Is that that's part of the blockchain because, because or that's uh, before you know? Before we talk about CBDC, there yeah. there was this uh, uh, popular notion that uh, I think Facebook will have its own digital currency. Yes, there's a post to launch Libra. But Facebook Libra. cannot guarantee, unlike central bank. We can guarantee yeah. the value of uh, mass up by. So, well, upon uh, question, blockchain method. technology is fine. We're, we're not disputing that, okay? Uh, but yung chinat yung pong country, Bahamas and Jamaica. I'll be careful. <laughs> <laughs> we're not comparable with those two small countries, sir. So. Uh, and I think they're trying to position it, themselves, not, governors, secretary. All together, CBDC. Secretary. Uh, Indeed, but they're also trying to position themselves in the world as sort of a, uh, a haven for certain technologies, correct, right? correct. So we must be careful, I think. So, so yung porang ano? Uh, siguro, siguro to, to finalize this, uh, perhaps the good secretary should be aware or I'm asking if, if the entire uh, their family here is aware that we are hosting, we are hosting the Philippines is going to be hosting within this month, October 17, a World FinTech Financial Technology Festival in Makati. In Makati. Gathering all countries. I, I, I can give you the exact address. 2285 Generoses Avenue, Makati City, Metro Manila. We will attend. That's what's the title of their festival. Together, let us share Asia's digital economy. October 17 to 21, 2022. Who will participate? All the big players. We're going to be here. So, ang sinasabi ko, tayo pala yung host nito. Tapos hindi tayo kasali kasi ito yung resulta ng ating pag-aaral. And yet, and yet uh, all the big names will be here. Fintech, uh, Smart Cities. MarkTech, e-wallet, uh, etc., digital banks, web, etc., etc., new banks, etc. So, tinatama ko lang po ito. So, kahit tayo ay hindi, hindi sumali doon sa CBDC, ay tayo pa rin yung host pala. Uh, just for the information of the, the DOF family. Tayo yung host. Buti hindi kayo naimbitahan doon na guest speaker. Pero tayo yung host. Tayo yung host dito. Uh, let it aside. So, I, I I I suggest that uh, I, I I get I got a good answer that we're not setting aside blockchain technology. Uh, smart contracts is there for uh, international trade. So ipursu po natin to. Sinasabi nga kanina ni Senator uh, Robin Padilla, yung misis daw niya ay sige uh, sige lang sige bayad sa digital currency baka daw ma Kung illegal na ito, baka daw mawala yung investment nila dahil nag i sila. Hindi ko ma-rephrase ma ng tama, Senator Padilla. Perhaps you can uh, reformulate that question. Uh, Honor. Maraming salamat po, uh, Senator uh, Tolentino. Uh, Chairman, ano ko lang po? Sige lang, sige lang po. Oh, ano ko lang po? Sige ko lang po malaman ng legality nitong cryptocurrency kasi hindi po ba sasabot ng asawa ko dyan? Ano po bang ano? Hindi po namin sinasabi, as, as Central Bank Governor before, hindi po namin sinasabi na illegal po yan. But I'm just telling the public to be careful, okay? To be careful. So, so bakit ayaw niyo po yung pinapasok niyo, ano? 
Yun lang po. Just be cautious, no? Uh, Kasi hindi po guaranteed na central bank yan, eh. Uh, uh, okay. Pero pag may ka-partner po itong local bank, okay, okay lang po ba yun? I think Union Bank was accredited by the Bangla Central before. Opo, Union Bank. Yung point nga ni uh, Secretary is, is uh, hindi siya parang ano, hindi siya parang key bill or you should know what what type of security you're entering into. It's more like the stock market. The value can, it can go very high but it can also go, pwede bumagsak like Bitcoin now, di ba? So, there's no, and, and even the experts mismo are saying there is no science to it. They, they do not see the science to it. I think that's the point of the Secretary, Your Honors. So, in answer to Sen Senator Padilla's question, ingat-ingat lang. Kaya ko hindi nyo naiintindihan Kasi minsan You go by the ano eh Si Warren Buffett nga Tsaka si Bill Gates Sabi nila Di nila naiintindihan Elon Musk The question Wala pa rin Wala ano eh The explanation Paano natin maintindihan So yun na po yun Secretary Yun na po Ah, Mr. Chairman, bahala na lang, gano'n. <laughs> Ako kasi I have the tendency to... Kasi obligasyon na, sorry po, sorry po, obligasyon po natin yan, Secretary, sa taong bayan. Kasi hindi lang naman po pwede natin sabihin yan na yun ang explanation natin sa kanila na hindi eh, natin naintindihan. Eh. Kailangan po, maintindihan din po, ma-explica ma natin sa tao, sa kanila, once and for all, tayo po ba ay maniniwala dito? Oh, hindi. Kasi mayroon pa naman po, iiwan natin sa kamay nila. Tapos, you know, pinagagaan po natin yung dito. Hindi na po ang sinasabi namin na uh, if you want to play, uh, you have to understand. Huh? And then, and it will be cautious lang po. Pero, pag mong kikita, yan ang kang, you may lose, you may win, but uh, there's no guarantee. No? Uh, but the point is, it's not backed up by Central Bank. Okay? Para po yung sinasabi, Uh, bilang kayo po ay nasa gobyerno, hindi nyo ni-encourage. Yun lang naman po ang gusto natin marinig. Eh. Bilang nasa gobyerno po, hindi po ito ini-encourage ng gobyerno. Especially for those who do not understand the uh, intricacies. Ano po, hindi na intricacies. Kasi gusto nyo lang nyo lang nyo po, yung mga investment niya, yung nakahawakan niya. Kung uh, nilang ng Coca-Cola, ganun, alam niya. Ganun. Eh kung hindi ka naintindihan, ay, hindi ako mag-invest yan. Ganun po. So once in, ano po, in late months term, hindi pa rin. Beware, buyer beware. Yung kapya tempor, yun yung uh, uh, sinasabi. Parang magsugal ka lang, ganun po. Parang mga sinasabi nyo. Di parang pyramid scam, <laughs> pwedeng maging wedding scam, pwedeng stock market, di ba? Parang, parang ruleta lang ho yan, parang yan ang sinasabi nila, di ba? Kaya po bang pwede yan na ano ang gobyerno dyan? Para, eh kawawa naman yung bago loko, ano ang trabaho natin na proteksyon naman ng tao natin, ang taong bayan natin. Down on the... Yeah, the SEC cracks down, uh, Mr. Chairman. Yeah. 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 Kung uh, meron ba tayo yung sistema, pagka maglalabas ka ng pera, bibili ka ng investment, kailangan nakarehistro ka. May prospectus ka, etc. Pagka bebenta ka sa publiko. Pero yung SEC under DTI, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, DOF, sa inyo din ba? So, sa kanito si SEC? Si, well, uh, uh, pwede pa rin. Pwede pa rin. Pwede pa rin. Kasi hindi naman bawal nga sabi nga ni SEC. Uh, Pero sabi, yung point niya, hindi niya ini-encourage dahil, yun nga, baka mawala, mawala lahat ng sinibigos. Hindi mawala. Si Sir, talong nga lang po. 